The release from November 1st, 2024 was a big one for Unshape. And I've made a video of the edit curve capability that further extends some advanced surfacing. But there's something else that was called out in the what's new, but I think it's even more consequential than um, the single you know, mention that it got. And that is the ability to go to your My Account Preferences and have a look down at the keyboard shortcuts. Now, if you look at the Part Studio or Assembly or any of the areas, you'll see there's a large number of things unassigned. And what we've done is we've created the ability to assign whatever you like to any of these unassigned features or tools, right? So if you really want a keyboard shortcut for decals or derived feature, then you can, right? You just go in there and, and create a shortcut. And it's your preference, right? Because there's no one's going to agree on what are the best preferences to use. For me, I am completely convinced that, for me, <laughs> again, things like the analysis features for surfaces, um, zebra stripes, and in fact, things that involve changing the view, like going to between shaded with edges, shaded without edges, translucent views, um, into and out of perspective, are the ones that are most valuable for me. For instance, I could be looking at this surface here, and I want to go in and out of perspective mode very, very quickly and often. And uh, previously, we required you to sort of do that through the view cube. A couple of clicks, but those couple of clicks add up after a six hour marathon modeling session. And just a note on this, on the view cube menu here, we have shuffled things around a lot. And you'll see that um, the ability to create um, default preferences on these as well has been uh, has been added, you know, in a, a number of months ago. But this also helps immeasurably when you go between documents and between part studios to have things remember your favorite settings. And again, there's no right answer to any of these. The right answer is that the user has a preference, and that's what should be able to be set. So if I go through my just personal settings here on my F1 or oh, Shift One key. Uh, and I don't use Shift 1 through Shift 7 to control views. That's very, very easily done through, uh, through you know, the view cube itself up here you know, to go between top views. And I've got one shortcut on my mouse, uh, which will go me back, uh, bring me back to an isometric fit view. So that leaves me with the opportunity to override the default settings and go F, uh, Shift 1 um, for zebra stripes. And it toggles them on and off. And then Shift 2 gives me this perspective toggle. Because when you're doing surfacing and uh, you're going between different analysis modes, different graphics modes, and for me, that is the left hand in the, on the left hand side of the keyboard. Again, shift one, shift two, back on toggle. I've got a translucent mode, which I particularly like. Um, I can go back to a regular shaded mode with shift four. Shift five gives me the analysis uh, of curvature. Uh, so I can just easily go between these. Uh, these curvature modes, and I can, um, you know, toggle them just uh, with the Shift 5. Uh, shift 6 gives me the highlighting the boundary edges. Now, this is a good one as well. Um, I can use this as a preference, but sometimes you want to override on and off. And Shift 7 is, is for me, is a fit view. So, I mean, for people who do advanced surfacing and, you know, you're looking at these things and you need to look at it from different perspectives, you need to look at it with different analysis types, um, being able to do that, you know, even while you're rotating the model uh, with your other mouse hand um, is going to be an incredible time saver. And it's one of these things that really adds up. It's, I call this the compound interest um, of CAD modeling because it's, it's going to really, really pay off uh, later on. So I hope everybody goes and has a look at the preferences. Uh, again, it's very, very easy to do. And of course, it follows you across browsers. Uh, it's not just something uh, specific to a single computer or a single browser. Uh, these are your Onshape preferences.